want to take a picture. Uh, we can't see your face. Cheese. I can't see your face. Come up here. Your best mommy. Hey guys, so for our last trip on the camping series, this was a rest stop and the river was so high that the steps were actually partially covered, but the water was very nice and cold. There was a lot of dirt because everything was still filling, but as you can see the plants, like clearly the water was overflowing. Um, but it was so much fun. We ate lunch here, just really relaxed, had a great time. Uh, Elias kept telling us that we were at an ocean <laughs> and we had to keep explaining that if we were at an ocean, you would not see the other side. Now, I don't remember exactly where the rest stop was, but I know that it was very close to Hanging Lake and it was super cute, very fun. So I did take a couple of clips of us driving just cause it was so pretty out, like our last day here and there's finally no rain. <laughs> Everything's nice. The sky's all blue. It was so ridiculous. There's monsters in the dark? That makes sense, dude. Um, but yeah, we ended up deciding to drive to Turquoise Lake, which is uh, what I named the video after. And we found a ghost town on the way. It was so much fun. So this part of the road, we had to go over a bridge and the video ended up being awful um, because... <laughs> I realized my fear of heights is really just a fear of man-made things. <laughs> I am fine with mountain roads. I am not... I am not fine with bridges. Oh my god. So with all the terrifying content out of the way, let's go back to the beautiful drive. This is where it got a little bit bumpy, but it was completely worth it. Especially because we went to a spot that we go to a lot especially throughout my whole childhood and it was exciting to be able to show this place to the boys and just really have fun I guess um they were a little concerned about the water for a good chunk of time just like they didn't really know what to do with it this is kind of the first time that they've seen such a big lake in person so it was a little intimidating for them um but it was absolutely precious watching them start to warm up to it. Uh, if you're following me on Instagram, I posted a lot of pictures of uh, the trip as well, including some pictures of them just uh, hiding in their blankets <laughs> and avoiding the water at all costs. But they, they did warm up to it eventually. And we went walking along the little beach areas and all that, just really enjoying our time over here. Um, and my family... My family's been coming over to this lake for generations. So very special to me personally and to my mom as well. Um, so of course, like I said, they were not a fan of the water. We brought floaties with us. Like they, they could have gotten in the water and had a lot of fun. Um, so this clip, of course it led to me capturing um, the thumbnail and everything, but it was really me trying to get them in the water and also recording simultaneously their first time getting into a lake uh they didn't go for it they, they just looked at me like I was a crazy person so I tried to play with the water let them know that it was all okay and they were just sick of it <laughs> so eventually I gave up especially because we ended up getting that gray cloud covering up the sky a little bit so it was making it a little bit cold but while it was sunny I was desperately trying and of course eventually they found exactly what they wanted to do which is just throw rocks I, I don't know what it is with them and rocks but they absolutely love rocks and throwing them and Elias had to get the biggest ones that he could find Hey guys, if you enjoyed today's video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and maybe check out some of my other content and if you really enjoyed the video, you can always hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that way hopefully you can see more of my content. Why am I in here? Because I'm recording a voiceover, my silly boy.